Konica fax driver, how to install a Konica fax driver so you could fax from your PC. So then the first thing you need to know is of you need to you need to know the IP address of the copier. Also, you need to find out the print the fax driver. You need to download the fax driver. So basically, just do a Google search. Go to Google, type in Konica Minolta drivers, look for the first link, click on support drivers. Once you're there, it's going to give you this search. Just go ahead and scroll down. For some reason, if you do not see this page, just click on printers and drivers. And we'll give you this. The best way to find the driver, I uh, just go ahead and scroll down. It's going to give you the options here. So if you have a black and white copier, you have a color machine. I have a color machine. Click on color. Look for the particular model, model that you have. I have a BizHub. C754. Click on the drivers. Do not use the universal print drivers. It's limited on the functions. So click on drivers. This is a full driver. So and then look for the OS that you are using. So look for the OS. Click on I have a Windows XP. You also have Windows 7 at the bottom. So I have Windows XP. Click on show right here. You get to the next page. Here it is. Look for the the top driver will be the newest driver. It has to say fax. So this particular zip file in the zip file you're gonna find the fax driver. So click on fax, download the driver, download it and save it somewhere. I already have this file downloaded, so save it, download it somewhere and save it now. Once you download the driver the, the file, you need to go to that folder. Here, I have it in my documents. Monica. And the folder will be a zip file. So, what you're going to do is you're going to right click on that folder, extract all, click next, click next again, and you're finished. Once the folder is extracted, it's going to create another folder, which is going to look like a regular folder. Here it is. It's going to be the same name. Open the folder. Open the folder again, click on drivers. Once you're here, you're going to find this option that says setup.exe. So basically, what we're going to do is basically run the setup. Click on run. Click, you agree. Install the print driver. Next. It's going to find your copier on your network. network. It's going to search and find it. Here it is. Make sure you check the box. Click next. Here it is now. I already have the print driver installed, so now I need my fax driver. Click on fax, uncheck everything else, and click next. And you're done. I already have the fax driver installed on this particular PC, so this is the way you install the fax driver. So click cancel for me, but for you, just click next and finish the installation. Now, when you go to the, if you can confirm you have the fax driver installed, click on start, finish the transaction, and here it is, the Konica Minolta fax driver. So you need to right click on it, go to properties, and make sure you click on the configure option when you are it's working properly. Now, this particular machine. If you have the account track turned on, one thing you need to do on the fax driver to let it through. Either you have to give it a password, or if you have the public mode, black and white, unrestricted, to be able to fax, you need to set this to a public mode. So basically, the ne next step would be, again, if you are using the account track, go to the advanced option, go to printer's default, Go to basic, go to authentication account, and make sure this is set to the public mode. Click OK. Apply those settings. And click OK. So now the fax driver is able to fax through without any restrictions. Make sure you apply the settings again. 
and you are ready to go. Now, uh, to fax from your desktop, this is the way it works. Now you're going to have a document open. You have your document open. You're going to go to File, Print. You're going to select the fax driver. If you don't have it on this window, you drop down the menu, select the fax driver. Now, if you don't want to do nothing else to the driver, you just want to fax, click OK. And it's going to give you this window. Now, you can put a name here. I'm going to send this to Tom. Give him a phone number. One and then type in the number across. Once you finish with the number, make sure you click on this add recipient and it puts it in this box. Maybe you want to send this fax to another person, send this to Sam. Number is and then click add recipient recipient. Okay, you can also put a cover sheet on the on your fax. You could click on fax cover sheet. Click on settings and add your information in the appropriate boxes. So you can pretty much select all the information that you need to send. Click OK. If you do not want a cover sheet, just uncheck the box, leave it unchecked. Click OK and the fax is on its way. So this is how you set up a fax driver and how to fax from your desktop.